I'm Amy Usden. I create sculptures using vintage nets as armatures, weaving fishing nets and fly nets for horses into abstract mental and physical landscapes. When I first started weaving on discarded nets, I'd been caring for a father in declining health, and in that I felt a correlation to the careful tending of a worn object. The slow process of weaving within and across the fixed borders of these nets allowed me space to begin to process layers of my own history and to think about my own changing use. What began as autobiographical meditation for me has evolved into a body that speaks more broadly to histories and loss and longing. And I, I hope these pieces invite the viewer in to discover associations of their own. For me, the theme of the show is perfect. The word woven represents an intertwining. I use new materials on old nets, which links past to present. When I use a vintage net from the 70s, I'm thrown back to when I first discovered weaving. And in weaving, warp and weft support each other. So I think of connections. I knew nothing about the fiber arts community when I signed up for Ann Coddington's workshop at the Textile Center. And I didn't know Teresa or Martha when I was selected for this show. And they signed up for this workshop as well. So not only was I surrounded by the most supportive group of artists, that I had the opportunity to bond with the two of them, which makes the groupings in this show all the more special to me. My name is Martha Bird, and I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I um, specialize in sculptural basketry. I started as a traditional basket maker and have moved into sculptural work. And what I do is I take um, complex basket weaving techniques and I push that in the form and create sculptures. I'm also a board certified holistic RN and that's a really important part of my art practice. Uh, and I use my art to create and open conversations with people around a variety of topics. In addition, I also present a variety of settings on the health benefits of creating with one's hands. So I use natural fibers in my work and I really love working with willow. I go out and harvest my own willow. I've been gifted several basketry willow gardens and what that involves is going out in the winter when the willow is dormant and the leaves have fallen off and um, cutting down the willow. It comes in a variety of colors and it's the willow that grows straight up from the ground. So it's not the weeping willow tree, it's um, special basketry willow. It grows up straight up from the ground, I cut it down and then I need to sort it, cut off all the side branches that I'm not gonna use. I really look for the long straight shoots like this. It's gonna be great for weaving. The theme in my work, and particularly this show, but my work beyond too, is that I do work around trauma and resilience and how that shows up in the body, in my body. I live, up, I live with um, post-traumatic stress disorder, and it was when I um, did a particular therapy technique to help work with that, that things shifted in my life and I connected with myself as an artist, and that's when my career took off. One of the things I really love about willow is that the inner bark has salicylic acid in it, which is the base component of aspirin. And so as a nurse, working with a material that's actually a medicine, is I just love that. My name is Teresa Abdet, and I am an artist and a woodworker and sculptor. A lot of the work that's in this show um, is sort of a mix of, of work that is mixed media, both wood and fibers and woven, uh, woven objects. There's two primary techniques that I use in basket making. And the first is, a, is coiled basketry, which is just sort of taking one piece of rope and, and stitching it to the, the, the previous one. And another is the random weave technique, which uses rattan cane material. And um, you can see that in the piece called The Wanderer, where it's really just like, looks like a bird's nest or like a big animal nest. 
I think probably the common theme would be uh, mental health advocacy and just just that's something that I'm really it's really important in that my in my work that and my practice that um, you know these are it's something that I personally experience and live with and it's I think not talked about enough in our society so I really want to make objects that both someone who has experiences like I have can relate to those objects and someone who maybe doesn't have any understanding of those experiences can get a little bit of an insight into what it feels like to live with, you know, mental illness. Some of the work in this show, the older work comes from a body of work called Evidence of Process, where I was really thinking about the physical act of object making, you know, wrapping things and weaving and carving with wood carving tools. Um, and just how all of that is really, uh, it, it's helpful for mindfulness and for sort of tuning into your body and it just helped, it helped me, I realized that making things with my hand helps me process my emotions. So that's sort of a theme that I've been working with for the past few years. I hope that uh, people see my work and are inspired to think about their own mental health. And, you know, especially with a new year, it's a great time to focus on getting help if you need it.